welcome back to the Gorilla Biker. Today, we're going to be attempting to rebuild the brake calipers on the Jigsaw. Now, I don't know if I finished this one today, but I'm going to try to do the other side because I've already kind of started that. Um, I actually lost some footage, which sucks a little bit, but it's okay. It's fine. So what we're going to do first is continue cleaning the other side, uh, just real quick, um, because I'm set up for it already before the footage was lost. And then I'm going to start clean, opening up and cleaning this one. And then we're also going to break down the rear brake real quick. Uh, but it was actually sent the wrong brake pads for that, so I'm not sure how much we'll get done on this today. But we, sh we shall see. We shall see. Either way, it's uh, better than nothing, so let's, let's crack on. Okay, so I know you can't see too well, um, but the four big bolts that I showed you at the start need to be broken open with a 6mm uh, Allen. I would advise doing them while they're on the bike just because it's a hell of a lot easier. Uh, one thing I'll say is make sure that it's sat fully in, like so. There's one broken open. It's just a lot easier to do this when you're on the bike than trying to clamp it somewhere, you know. It's two. Three, four. So that's just all those four uh, broken open, which is what we need to do. Now I know you can't really see this. I'll, I'll probably show you again on the other side anyway. Um, but there you go. So then, when you're back on the bench, just remove these the rest of the way, and do not lose them. I'm gonna ultrasonically clean these bad boys anyway. There you go. I probably should have taken that out first. <laughs> that also needs to be ultrasonically cleaned, of course. But there is the split caliper. So all of this stuff, I have a tool on the way. Um, I won't be finishing this today, but I have a tool on the way to take these out. Um, and then the whole lot is going to go into the ultrasonic cleaner, like absolutely everything. And then hopefully we'll be in a much better position. But yeah, there's a uh, one bit of this video filmed. The next is coming the next day. I don't know, can you see that? But look at that absolute mankiness. This is why these needed to come apart. Look, that is like solidified brake goo. Nice. So uh, that's that's why you need to rebuild your brakes if they've been sitting that long. <laughs> it's absolutely rank. So what you will have seen so far is me splitting these calipers, which is, is nice. Um, but what you won't have seen is me getting out the actual pistons, but I'll do that in a minute. Uh, what I'm trying to clean right now is just these channels in here, because they're full of gunk, and just down the very base. So these have been in the ultrasonic bath for a little bit. They got a, they got out cleaning, um, so they are nice and clean. I have all the new seals for here. Uh, I have the new seals for here. I'm not changing the pistons because they're too expensive, but I'm just going to give everything here a quick clean now with the Dremel. The Dremel bits I got, I got in Woody's. It's the only place I could find anything. Should probably put on some glasses, safety glasses. Um, and all I'm gonna do is just barely like turn away down, like that speed, and just kind of touch those channels to try to clean them up a bit. So you can see there now, those channels are looking way, way cleaner in there. And literally that was just like literally three minutes touching with the um, with the Dremel. So like that, that is exactly all I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna use the other shape brush, this one here, to get down into the bottom. And that should be as good to go then. Um, so I'll clean this and I'll come back to you when we have the bottom ones done and I'll clean this side too. And hopefully we'll be able to put this one back together later in the video. Okay, anyway, so for the full disassembly, what I'm going to do first is just pop out these uh, little bolts here to take out that backing plate. I'm pretty certain I got new ones of them. I did. Um, I bought a kit on eBay, um, just all new stainless bolts to fit the caliper back together. Um, and also new stainless bolts for here. You, you, you want to keep this little guy here though. Um, never throw away any of these bolts, to be honest. Just always keep them because worst case scenario, you drop one and you can't find it, you have spares, you can just clean them and use them. Uh, 
I, that's how I do it anyway, because I'm always, see, I'm always dropping stuff and it's just not great. Then you want to take out that little cotter pin and then once the cotter pin is taken out you can just slide that guy out. That's also going to get a major clean with some sandpaper. Then while we're still here I'm just going to take off the bleed nipple. I also got new stainless steel bleed nipples from Probolt. I'm a big fan of Probolt stuff. It's very very good. And then what we're going to do is take out these four bolts here over on the clampy boy. So here we are at everyone's favorite neighborhood clamp. And all you want to do is crack these. Like you can you can do this like I showed you earlier. I just wanted to show you the two different ways. You can do it while they're on the bike. Um, but you can also oh, do it in the bench like this. Do it on the bench even. Those are some unhappy sounding bolts. They have been in there too long. That is nasty. All right, and then you're split. So that's it, it's literally, you pop them open. Now, the other thing to notice, yeah, it's uh, important, is these little seals here. Um, if you don't have new ones of them, which I do, just make sure that you keep them because they're important. So then what we're gonna do is reclamp this because this is the fun bit. And generally, when I say fun bit, it means not very fun at all, not even kind of. So. What I'm going to do first is just spray some brake cleaner in around those because we have to break all of these out now using this guy. And just as a comparison, uh, this is where it was, this was where it is is now. Um, that's kind of fairly major. Now if you're buying one of these uh, removal tools, honestly it is good. It has worked well for me on the other ones, but it's really, as you can see, it's not easy. Uh, to get these things out. I know I know people use compressed air, I just don't have compressed air in my shed space right now, so that's why I have decided to go this route. I know there are many other ways to do it. You also don't need a vise. Uh, the first one I didn't use, um, I didn't use the vise for. I just held it in one hand and, and worked it out, which probably is what made it so, so much harder. Ah, oh, god damn. Uh, so there you go, there's one piston out. Um, I did, just just be careful, because I did actually hurt my wrist doing doing these the last time. And you can see they're just, it's just glue in there. I'll show you now in a minute. Um, but just, just be careful, because it is, like, especially if you're working on one that's been sitting as long as this bike, and that would be my one tip. You see, these are coming out okay-ish. Um, I find the brake, brake cleaner really helped. Uh, but yeah, it's not, it's not something that I would say take on if you've bad wrists. And I do have one bad wrist, a broken one of my wrists, um, which does make this slightly more challenging, but it's okay. Literally just work it back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth, until you get it out. Oh God. That one was less fun. And these little heads on the gripper will eventually wear away and you can you can replace them though, you can see the screws there, so I'm not too worried about that. Well you can see the inside of this brake is actually much better than the other brake, to be honest, the other brake was way worse than this. But now we're just gonna pop the seals out. Now, the seals on the other one, and again, there's probably a better tool to use than this. I just use this trusty little fella here and they're really 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 yeah yeah okay this side is so much better the other one they were really glued in there but you can still see that these are completely perished um, these seals so they needed to be changed so I'm glad I'm changing them and there's the main seal out again not in the worst of condition just not great either so kind of perished so glad we're getting it out of there it's so so typical like, honestly, the last side was way worse than this, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm okay with this. The main thing with these seals, honestly, and I know I say it all the time, um, but it is, it's just take your time. 
Take your time, take your time, take your time, and you'll get them done. There's nothing overly bad about them. It's just time. And there you go, that's all the seals out. So what I'm gonna do um, with this brake caliper, this is gonna go into the um, ultrasonic bath, along with its pistons later. All I use is I put in a little bit of, uh, what is it called? The wash stuff, uh, muck off. I just put in muck off with normal water to clean them and it does work quite well. Again, that's the difference. Uh, this is after Dremel clean as well now, but uh, that is the difference there, so pretty good. The main thing I think with the ultrasonic bath is uh, have a heated element. I don't think the actual Sonics do a huge amount for the brakes, uh, the brake calipers, it's just the heat. And the one thing I will say is make sure you get as much brake fluid out of here as possible before you put it into an ultrasonic bath. Um, because obviously brake fluid is something you really don't want on your brakes anyway, or the paint or anything like that. Now, so imagine for a second that you've seen me clean the other caliper. We're back with this one I prepared earlier out of the oven. So, boys are back on this side. Uh, I just wanted to make sure I could do it before I showed you. We're going to do this side now. Um, and also put back in our nice new Pro Bolt uh, bleed nipples. I know someone is going to have fun out of me saying the word nipple, but anyway. So what you want to do first um, is get back in your, your main seal. So that goes down here. And honestly, the way I've, I found to get it in is literally just work it around. Again, the main thing I will always say with these things is just take your time. Take your time. Get it sat all the way around and then it just kind of pops into place itself. Like that. So there you go, that one's that that's done. And then you want to do the bigger piston main seals. Done. And then this one. Done. So then you just want to put in the dust seal. Again, very straightforward, just kind of, these ones sit way more lightly in place, uh, but still very straightforward. So they just kind of sit down into the groove a little bit deeper. I'll try to show you better. So just there, they kind of sit just down under the top and then the main seal just sits down in there, like, like that. And then you just want to finish out your dust seals. And then don't forget uh, the two seals that will go here and here before we put them back together. But for now, I'm just going to leave them there. Okay, uh, where did I get these seal kits? By the way, these are OEM seal kits. I got them on cmsnl.com. You would have heard me say that name before. Now what I'm gonna do is just put the teeniest amount of red rubber grease uh, all around these rubber seals so that I can push the pistons back in that little bit easier because those pistons otherwise may pinch the rubber. And we do not want that. Our lovely new seal's getting pinched. Again, th this is the one time I would say don't use too much um, red rubber grease. And to be honest, you can you can put, do this with like brake fluid as well. I know there's a there's a lot of people out there who who don't want you to do this, but again, I got this advice off an actual professional mechanic. So and then you just push back in your pistons. There you go. And you'll see here, I gave them a good clean. So these are being reused, I'm not using new ones, um, but I gave these a good sand off and clean. They've, this set have been through the uh, the ultrasonic bath as well. And you just wanna make sure they go in straight. And that's that done, so that's that together. Next, we're gonna obviously put these back together and get the brake pads in place and ready to go. I also did get new uh, stainless bolts. So we're gonna use those lovely stainless bolts and I also got new stainless other boys there too. So, first and foremost, we wanna get our seals in place here. Muy importante. And then just a little bit of copper grease on these bolts 
Uh, again, I'm sure this is a, uh, another mixed mixed opinion type deal, but the person who often gives me advice on these things advised that I do this, so that's what I'm going to do. So for now I'm just going to loosely locate most of them. And because this is uh, stainless steel and aluminium, I would never over tighten these bolts. And again, just make sure you do it like one side then the other. And then what we're gonna do is put back in our bleed nipple. Again, another nice new stainless uh, component this is from pro bolt like i said uh, these these bolts were from uh, an ebay person <laughs> and then what we want to do is put back in our new e brake pads oh boy i forgot the word brake pads and of course do not forget your cotter pin onto your brake pad holder that is one rebuilt caliper and that can pretty much go back onto the bike now which is fantastic so i do need to get a little cover for the stainless steel bleed nipple um, and that's it i am very happy that's done so i will now uh, work on getting the other side done as well and we're going to break apart the rear caliper as well Also, just to show, show you another tasty bit I got, I got new uh, stainless um, mount bolts for, for the bike too, so pretty happy with that too. And of course, I nearly forgot to show you because I'm a doofus, um, to put this back on, nice and cleaned up as well. And by the way, for anyone, because there has been a few, uh, pooping on what I've been doing with this bike, uh, I'm doing my best. I am not a professional. Um, this bike probably would not have been brought back to life if it wasn't for me having such an interest in it. So, you know, try be positive. I'm always positive. You should be too. Not that you should be, but just try, try, try be positive. Sometimes, sometimes the world is not a positive place. I understand that. I understand somebody may have hurt you in your past, but it wasn't me. So uh, leave me alone. Also. That right there is the first ever caliper I have fully rebuilt myself. I am pretty proud of that one. Pretty proud and pretty pleased. Yay! Lovely new double H brake pads as well. On to the next one. I have the brakes back on the bike and look at their shiny goodness. So there's my lovely new stainless Pro Bolt bolts. Lovely new stainless bolts here, lovely new stainless bleed nipple. Uh, they look they look the business, I'm really, really happy. So, yay, the next video shall be me putting on the HGL braided brake lines. And once they're on, I don't really care about the back brake, once they're on, we can test ride the Jixer. And that's it. So if you watched, thank you very much for watching, as always. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, all I will say is if you want to break apart brakes like that, you definitely need that piston tool um, and if your rear brake is as bad as my rear brake was you're going to need access to compressed air to get them out. I'm just going to pause myself here because a couple of people who actually watch these videos and really are following them along for their own Jixxer, um, they actually asked me to do the rear brake separately so I'm going to have that in a separate video. won't be as long as this one, it's very much similar but yeah. So rear brake, separate video, you'll see it soon. And um, the good news is, you know, you can do everything else yourself. Even if you have to bring it to a shop and just ask them to pop the pistons out for you, uh, you can do everything else yourself. The other thing is, would I recommend buying new pistons? If you have the money, yes, definitely buy new pistons. There is one or two little small spots on uh, my pistons where there is some corrosion on the fronts. Um, obviously, that's not ideal. Ideally, I would like to have bought new pistons. Um, but again, that's something I can do in the future anyway. The biggest thing for me for this was to, to, to learn how to do this. And uh, this bike has taught me so much. It's taught me about carburetors, it's taught me about rebuilding brakes, which I'd never done before. 
um, and everything else. So, you know, still more to come. Gonna learn how to balance carbs, bottle carb balancer kit, I hope it works. Um, ultrasonic bath, cleaning. I've learned a lot and that was, that was the, the main purpose of this project was that. So we're getting close, I'm really happy. But yeah, next video, brake lines going on, bleeding those brake lines, and then we should hopefully be able to bring it out for a quick spin and just up and down the road to see does it actually work. So yeah, as always, a massive thank you to my patrons. Um, genuinely appreciate the sport throughout this project and everything else. It's it, it's been a tough year and uh, it, it means a lot to know that num number one people push me to actually make that patron and number two that you, you still support me on there, so thank you very much. And yeah, until next time, thank you very much for watching. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, please leave it down in the comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please share it to your friends if you like it. Uh, and I have lots of other bike videos if this is your first time here. Go have a look at them, please. Uh, over Christmas, sure, what, what else would you be doing? Adios. Outro crew. How nasty are these brakes? They're absolutely... Look at the state of that, like. Look at the absolute state of that. Oh, it's just... Yeah. I suppose I better get back to work and, and clean these and put them back together so that we can actually do... You know, do more videos. Bye.